Hey everyone, welcome back to Sasha Sense. My name is Sasha. I do fragrance reviews. I also do a little bit of beauty and style. So if you enjoy that type of content, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. You can hit that notification bell. And if you end up liking this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. I am super excited about today's video because I'm going to share with you some very popular fragrances by Zara that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. But before I do that, I need your guys' very honest, honest opinion on my makeup. I'm trying that minimalist kind of look, you know, that less is more. And this is by Merit Beauty. And so they have very clean makeup. It's really healthy for you. There's antioxidants, squalene, B5. And so I really wanted to try them out, especially at 55. Sometimes when I put a lot of makeup on, it makes me look older. And I don't know what this looks like on camera. So I need you guys to tell me, does it look good? What do you think? And I won't know what it looks like until after I edit this video. So your honest opinion would be fantastic. And I will go ahead and put a link to Merit Beauty in the description box. You can check them out. They are in Sephora, but they have very limited products. And so when I ordered the products that I got, it came in this cute little corduroy bag. And I guess they send this to everyone's first order. And so all my makeup is in here, but I really like it. It's good for your skin. It's that less is more. And so again, let me know what you think. But you guys came here for perfume. So let's just get right on in to the perfume. And these are full size bottles that I actually purchased and they are on the popular list for Zara's fragrances. And let's just start with the very first one. And this one is called Fields at Nightfall. This is their 100 ml bottle. This was $25.90. Now I found this one about a week ago. I like to Google things about perfume. And so I Googled long lasting fragrances 2022 and a list came up with some niche fragrances as well as designer fragrances. And then this one from Zara came up and I hadn't heard of this one. So of course the next day I went to Zara and purchased it. And I have to say, I'm really impressed. I like the way this smells. And as a matter of fact, this is the perfect dupe for This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. So if you're familiar with them, This Is Her, this smells just like that. It's really, really nice. I can do it again. Actually, I'll put some on. This smells really, really nice. You'll notice that there is some praline, jasmine, and sandalwood in here. So really nice combination of notes. This smells very feminine to me. It's not a bold in your face kind of fragrance. It's more subtle. So this is the type of fragrance I see you could wear on a daily basis year round. Someone would have to be a little bit closer to you in order to smell this one. Now on my skin, uh, this lasts about six hours, no longer than that. And then by that point, I'm really having to put my nose in my wrist to be able to pick up on this fragrance. Everybody's different. This may last longer on you. It was on the long lasting list of perfumes. So I was hoping that I would get at least eight hours on this one, but I'll take the six and plus it's so affordable. You can just respray this, but all around really nice fragrant, very feminine, works great, smells nice, very soft. So if you enjoy those softer type of fragrances and you have smelled This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire, then you can save some money and get this dupe. And I don't know if it's intentional that they duped it, but it, it smells pretty much spot on. All right, moving right along. All right, I love this one. This one is Vibrant Leather for her. This is the 80 ml bottle. It's $25.90, another good deal. This one is really unique to me. This smells like such a sophisticated fragrance with an edge. And I say that because that leather in here just really gives this some edginess, but it stays classy. It stays sophisticated. It just kind of smells badass, if that makes sense. It's that leather in here, but that leather is not a sharp leather. It's more like a soft suede leather that's just really like a brand new purse that's suede inside. It's just something about it. It smells so good, but it blends beautifully with the other notes in here. You've got currant, 
that leather accord as well as some patchouli so if you like patchouli you're really gonna like this fragrance a lot I don't know if this is a dupe for anything or not I can't figure it out what I do get is the vibe from this is similar to Gucci's Guilty Intense that purple bottle it kind of reminds me of that a little bit so I don't know if there's someone out there that has smelled the vibrant leather for her and the Gucci Guilty Intense if you can confirm that they kind of smell alike I don't know what that's what my nose is picking up but a great fragrance definitely something that you can wear year-round I think this is great for a date night this makes a statement it's just beautiful so oh and the longevity on this one is about six hours maybe a little bit longer you will pick up this on your clothes like the next day so it really does cling very well to the clothing great fragrance all right next we've got red temptation and this is again the 80 ml bottle for 25.90 and i must note to you guys these bottles are very heavy they're glass so they're done very well now a guy can wear this one as well because this is like a dupe for baccarat rouge 540 i think they did an amazing job with this this is spot on so if you've smelled baccarat rouge 540 you know how expensive that fragrance is and you want something affordable that you can just throw in your bag and respray if you need to this is incredible this smells so good it's got that sweetness that orange amber and evernil and it just smells beautiful again this is very very unisex it, it's kind of down the middle it's not too feminine it's not too masculine but it will complement your sex so if you're a female and you get dressed to the nines it's going to appear really sophisticated and fit perfectly kind of feminine but if you're a guy you're wearing this nice suit or this tux and you spray this on it just it'll feel masculine so it kind of morphs into whatever you want it to if that makes sense but this is a great fragrance this one's on my skin six hours longer on the clothes you can wear this one year round love this sweetness in here it's not overly sweet it's one of those fragrances that will command attention so if you walk into a room people are going to smell you but it's not overly loud but you will have this bubble around you where people will take notice to this so really nice fragrance again that one is red temptation smells like baccarat rouge 540. all right moving right along this one is targeted for men but i know so many women that wear this one and i bet you know what i'm talking about it's from the tobacco collection it's the rich warm addictive this is the 100 ml bottle this is 19 dollars 90 and this is coziness in a bottle this smells incredible if you just want to like stay in for the night maybe order takeout watch a good movie cuddle with your significant other the fireplace is going this is the fragrance to wear this smells so good it's got this light sweetness to it where's, where's the little oh there it is my eyes are so bad when you get older your eyes kind of go i need i need lasix or something but oh you get this tobacco in there and it's like a very rich almost instead of a cigarette it's more like a very expensive cigar in the distance melding with this sweetness and then it has this rum which you're definitely going to pick up on it's got peonies and then it has this bourbon vanilla so there's this creaminess to it that's just downright sexy and this is great i know some people that put this on before bedtime it smells great i've done that a few times where and i've literally drifted off to sleep wearing this because it's so cozy the downside for me on this one is that it does not last very long this probably on my skin i'm lucky if i get four hours but again it's 19 dollars 90 if you want to wear this during the daytime you can respray it but it's great if you're home for the evening you're awake to watch a movie it'll last just the right amount of time so again that one is the tobacco rich warm addictive fantastic all right and last but not least this one is sublime epoch and this is also the 80 ml for 25 dollars and 90 cents and this is a great one if you enjoy giorgio armani's my way this is the dupe 
for that. It smells incredibly similar. Really pretty, really soft. It's very feminine. All around really, really nice fragrance. You'll notice orange blossom as well as tube rose and musk. And that musk gives this just a little bit of creaminess. It's, it's not too creamy. It's done just right. So the best way is if you have smelled my way, then you'll get what I'm trying to describe here. It's again, very feminine. It's that soft floral. It's not very sweet. There's a little tiny bit of sweetness in there, but not a lot. So it, it's done extremely well. This is a great fragrance if you want to wear it year round for most occasions. This is going to be a little bit softer. So this one is closer to the skin, at least on me, it gets close to being a skin scent. So someone needs to be a bit closer in order to pick up on this fragrance. It is a nice soft sillage. When you walk into a room, people are going to notice you. And if they're sitting nearby, they're going to appreciate this fragrance because it is really, really nice. So that was Sublime Epoch. And that is the last of the five fragrances I have full bottles of. But there were a couple more from Zara that were on the popular list. And that was from the Vibrant Cities collection. There was a few on there, but two of those that I really want to get and I had a sample of, but I've already gone through that sample was Magnificently Dubai which I think is an incredible fragrance and fashionably London. And those fragrances, Zara worked with Joe Malone to create the Vibrant Cities collection. And I actually did a video on Vibrant Cities and I will put a link to that video in the description box. I may put it on this screen if I can figure out how to do that. I see other influencers say, just click here and it'll take you to the next video. I don't know how to do that yet. But I, you know what I just learned and I'm super excited about it? I can do timestamps now. So in the future, if I ever do a video and you see a list of fragrances, but you don't want to know about all of them and just maybe a few of them, you'll be able to click on the time and it'll take you right to that part of the video. So I just learned that. Isn't that kind of sad though? After almost two years on YouTube, I'm kind of figuring out the technical side of things. But anyway, Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I certainly appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay beautiful inside and out.